Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this super adorable rainbow loom hand chain bracelet ring thing. I don't know how to describe it, but you know, it's a ring that goes around your finger with like a chain that attaches to a bracelet that's around your wrist. I tried to find tutorials for this and I couldn't find any. I know people have made stuff like this before, but I could not find an exact tutorial for this. So I decided that I would make it and show you guys how to do it because it's actually super easy. But I do know that when I try to make mine for the first time, it was kind of complicated and confusing, so I just decided, you know, let's just show you guys how to do this. The only thing you'll need is your hook, although you could use a rainbow loom or a monster tail or anything. We're just gonna be doing a simple single chain, although you could make any bracelet for this, you could make any design for this, but I'm just gonna be doing a single chain because, you know, that's the easiest. I want it to be super easy for you guys. So let's just get right into the tutorial. So I'm just going to use a hook for this tutorial, but you could use a loom if you wanted to. So what you're gonna need is rubber bands. I'm gonna use black and pink, and you're gonna need one C-clip for the end result, but you might need a few more during like the process of making this, or maybe not even. It'll just depend or you can use some extra hooks to just hold some bands. Sounds kind of confusing, but you guys will see while I'm making this. So anyways, you're going to just do a cap band. And I'm just gonna be alternating between black and pink. And you're just gonna make a basic single chain that fits around your finger. So we're basically just making the ring part right now. So I think it is about big enough for my finger. So I'm gonna put the C-clip on there and make it just like into a ring just to see if it is gonna be long enough. So I just put it on and it seems to fit pretty well. You don't want it too tight or too loose, but now we're gonna take the C-clip off and then just place the loose ends back on your hook. So you're gonna take your loose end and your cap band end and put them both on your hook and then you're gonna take a band. I'm just gonna use a black one and pull it through both of them. And then you're gonna just continue on and make a single chain down the length of your hand. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that as well. Okay, so I've just put the ring over my finger and I have this down here and it kind of goes to my wrist, but I'm gonna add a couple more on here just so that it doesn't pull on the bracelet part too much if you like flex your hand forward or anything and just to make it so that it doesn't stretch the bracelet up too much. Okay, so now I'm going to take this part off. I'm just going to put a different hook through it just because I don't want to deal with a C-clip right now. So now we're gonna make a single chain that is just going to be a bracelet. So make it big enough for your wrist. If you know exactly how many bands you need in a single chain for your wrist size, go ahead and do that or, you know, measure it as you're going, whatever you prefer to do. I really just gave such a long and pointless explanation to the most simple beginner bracelet everybody always learns and already knows. So yeah, you know, just, just make a single chain bracelet that fits your wrist comfortably.
Okay, so this is now long enough for my wrist, so I'm just going to put the C-clip on the end. Now that we have that, we're gonna go to our other bracelet, and let's just assume that we didn't have this hook. Let's assume that maybe you used a C-clip or something, so we're just gonna put this on our original hook. So you just want to somehow get this the ring and the stick part <laughs> on a hook and then you're gonna take the cap band of your bracelet and put it on your hook pull it tight and pull it through these bands and you're gonna kind of like pull your bracelet tight and then just pull these over it's gonna get kind of twisted up but we can fix it later so it's okay and you're gonna want to pull it to like the exact center of your bracelet so now I think it is close enough to the exact center I'm not gonna figure out if it's the exact exact center but you know it'll it'll be fine where it's at as long as it looks close enough and now you're gonna take your cap band and put it on your c-clip just like that and then i'm gonna come over here and fix up this band since it got pretty twisted up on there there we go that seems about right so now we're just going to i'm gonna show how to put this on too because it's kind of confusing but so here's your thingy you're gonna put it on your wrist like you would any normal bracelet i don't know why but i always get like confused trying to put these on so that's why i'm showing you guys so you want the stick thingy to be in the center i guess and then you want to pull it down to where it should be I personally, whenever I make these, I always do them to my middle finger just because it's easiest to like have this thing in the middle, but you can do one on any finger. You could do one on like three fingers. You could do them on all of your fingers, honestly, but I am just doing one for this video. If I make another video on how to do a different one where it's like a flower in the middle with like one here, here, and like here maybe, I don't know, uh, then I will then you guys can see that but yeah this is pretty much just how it looks after you've made it if this is too short you can take this off of the bracelet and give it a little more length if this is too long or too short you can adjust that too the only thing is your ring you can adjust it but you'd have to take all of this off so i definitely recommend being careful with that but i just really like uh like how i have kind of like designed this I guess because then there's no c-clip on your finger because that could get kind of annoying you know having a c-clip on there and there's nothing visible so to see any of the c-clips it would be like it well I mean it should be back here but it's over here but that's fine but yeah I just really like having it look super like one piece like you cannot tell that it's three separate pieces that are connected so yeah i don't know i really like it not too sure about this color combination but i'm probably gonna make a few more in some different colors and another thing is here how it kind of looks weird so there's like a cat band here if you want you could just like make a cat band and then make a single chain off of this side and this side and then bring those two loose ends together but this is how it looks if you do it like how i taught but yeah so if you don't like how it looks with the cat band there you can modify it just a tiny bit and then you won't have to have it look weird right there but yeah i think it looks pretty weird honestly and i just really like weird jewelry and accessories and stuff so yeah that's why i really like this if you have any questions ask me in the comments down below my tutorial is probably pretty bad so don't be afraid to ask some questions that is it for this tutorial if you have any questions ask me in the comments down below if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you like my content, make sure to subscribe so that you can see all of my upcoming videos and follow my Instagram, which is galaxies and gargoyles to see all the behind the scenes stuff, random stuff I make, just, you know, a bunch of like craft stuff and stuff I've reviewed and just a bunch of random stuff, you know? But I think, I think everything I'll be posting there is pretty cool at this point while filming this. I haven't really posted anything on there. I posted once. So we gonna change that though, you know, once, once I figure out what I'm gonna post. <laughs> That's it for this video though. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.